All right. So you've decided to have some jumping in your 2.5D beat em up. Question is, how do you do it? Well, you've come to the right place. Before I tell you the whole code of it, it's just kind of get the uh, general idea of what we're trying to do here. So with Game Maker, uh, it's 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 a it's an engine for for 2D games for the most part, and uh, as such, with 2D you only get two axes to work with. You get your X axis and your Y axis. That's why they call it a 2D. If you were using like Unity 3D stuff or some some other 3D program, you get three axes. You get your X, you get your Y, and you get your Z 3D. But for our case, since we don't have three axes to work with, we kind of have to create our own little pseudo wannabe Z axis. And we're going to share the Y axis. So the Y axis is going to serve two purposes. It's going to serve both the how, how deep into the screen you are, which is the Y axis, and then how far off the ground you are, which is the Z axis. And we're going to use the Y axis to share both of those which is why they call it 2.5 and not 3D because it's kind of like a fake wannabe 3D so right here I'm kind of spending a little bit more time than, than I would want to than I should drawing these little guys but anyways so to um, achieve this effect in Game Maker we're gonna need to keep track of certain things number one Z floor we're gonna need to keep track of where our ground is what we're standing on we're gonna need to keep track of the Z we're gonna need to keep track of how high off the ground we are so that's what the Z axis is in this in this game in this example Z is how far off the ground you are and the Z airspeed just kinda of determines how quickly you're moving up and how quickly you're moving down in the air and so here I just kind of created these two little sprites before I started recording um, the walk and the jump if you want to download the sprites that I use I have them up on my patreon account I'll put a link in the description free to download just go over there download them and uh, follow along all right object it's very simple to create an object under the create event just like we said in the example you create these three variables the Z Z airspeed and Z floor and just set all of them to zero for now. Another one you're going to need is gravity. So grav. Uh, I, I just 2.2 was the number that I came up with that seemed to work okay. You can change that to whatever you want. And then finally you're going to need a, a, a state a state variable and I'll, I'll explain what that is later. So after your um, you initialize your variables you go into your step event and here I'm just kinda quickly setting up uh, a quick little like uh, just space bar to jump that's what this is and here I'm using a switch statement if you don't know what a switch statement is don't worry about it I'll explain that uh, in another video but just for now know that um, a, a switch statement is kind of like a shorthand for an if then statement so in a switch statement you're only performing the actions in one of these cases you're not doing all of them you're only doing one at a time so we're starting off as an idle our, 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 our beginning position is idle and here I'm just writing if you hit the jump button we're gonna add a, a speed of four, and we're gonna change our state from being idle to to being in the jumping position. So now that we've changed our state, we're no longer gonna perform the the uh, actions that we wrote for the idle case. Those are gonna be ignored. Now we're only gonna run the the uh, actions that we're writing under the jump case. So here we're pretty much just saying if uh, you're in the air, if you're above the ground, we're gonna apply gravity to you so that's what you're seeing here if Z is less than the floor less uh, I'll explain to you what that means we're gonna apply gravity to you and that's gonna bring you down to the ground now the reason we're using negatives is because uh, I guess game maker for some reason decided that um, negative like if you if you 
want to move upwards, you have to go negative on the y-axis. And if you want to move down the screen, you have to go positive on the y-axis. So that's why we're using negative numbers to move you up and positive numbers to move you back down. So right here, I'm just kind of quickly putting a character on, on a room and adjusting some of the views just so that you can um, see, see it a little bit clearer. Now also, um, you also saw the, uh, the code that said um, if Z is greater than or equal to the Z floor. So what that means is that once you come back down to the ground, if you're equal to the floor or below the floor, we just we set you equal to the ground. So we're pretty much saying you're on the ground. We reset everything to zero and we put you back on the idle state. And right here what you're seeing is me forgetting to add the secret sauce, the whole the one line of code that makes the entire thing work. I call it the secret sauce. Let's see if you catch it. Here it comes. You ready? You ready? Oh, there it is. Y plus Z. Remember we said that we're sharing the Y axis as both a, a Y and a Z. So how deep into the screen you are and how far off the ground you are. That's why I put Y plus Z there. And bam, it makes it work. Check it out. We've got some jumping in a 2.5D world. So that's pretty much it for now. Uh, that's just kind of your starter. Uh, later on in future videos, we're going to show how to do double jumps, how to add momentum to your jump, how to adjust the momentum in midair, um, and a couple of other more advanced things. But this is just kind of to get you started. If you want to download the project file, that I, the, the Game Maker file, or any of the sprites that I used in this uh, demo, you can just go to, um, go to uh, my Patreon account. I'll have a link at the bottom. And everything is there free to download. All right? All right. Till next time. Bye.